What do you think mm -hmm. of Teilhard de Chardin? And he is, the, of course, a French philosopher and priest. Many people have heard about him and his opinions. What about his opinions and belief? Does the church accept them? This is Barbara from Anchorage, Alaska. Okay, very good. Teilhard de Chardin. Yeah. How does that fit into everything we're yeah. talking about, or does it? Yeah. Well, uh, in, in a way, it, 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 it sort of does. I mean, uh, Teilhard de, uh, de Chardin was a uh, French Jesuit uh, who was, uh, uh, you, know, I, you know, obviously a, a good scientist, a very, uh, you know, fine anthropologist in, in his own right. Uh, and, you know, he did uh, have a, a series of theories. Now, you know, the Peking Man controversy is, again, you know, a problem, mm. you know, uh, relative relative to, you know, um, what I'm going to call the um, uh, evidence issue, because he, he really didn't have the evidence for, uh, you know, to assert Peking Man as a, as a link in a particular chain. And of course, because he, he made that assertion, you know, um, you know, as it were, science came back to haunt him and said, well, you know, you, you kind of went over the top there. You kind of over, uh, you overplayed the, the evidence card. But, uh, you know, Teilhard also, you know, uh, made some assertions relative to the fall and original sin, which were very difficult uh, to kind of reconcile uh, with, with church doctrine. He did do some things that, that uh, were correct, though. Uh, he, he, he certainly, his view of uh, basically an omega point, that is to say, his view that there is like God as a final cause drawing nature, you know, into kind of an evolution uh, cycle, right, that, that, you know, we're, as it were, divine, uh, you know, design and, 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 and the divine, uh, um, you know, order of things was kind of drawing things uh, I into, uh, um, you know, it, to its final fulfillment. That actually really works uh, by many constructs of evolutionary theory today. In other words, um, Teilhard was by no means, you know, what's called a materialistic, uh, you know, evolutionary guy, right? So by no means was Teilhard uh, in any way, you know, suggesting that all there was is, is embodiment, all there was was a material world, uh, you know, that we didn't have an individual soul created by God. That's, uh, Teilhard certainly believed we had an individual soul created by God. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, the first thing, you know, is, is, is you know, is that uh, uh, Teilhard was not off uh, the wall. He wasn't a materialist. In fact, he was so much not a materialist that his view of evolution is that God is guiding it, as it were, as a final cause at all times. So there's there's two different views, you know, of of, you know, how God could interact with the evolutionary process. One view is called efficient causation, and that's where God would be doing it kind of from behind and sort of influencing it as it goes along. The other one is that God could be doing it from up front, so he could, you know, uh, be, as it were, calling, uh, you know, uh, the whole of, uh, you know, um, uh, history uh, to its conclusion. So he's, he's sort of, you know, drawing it to its fulfillment and to its finality. So these are okay. uh, some of the, the, the key key features. Very good. Uh, you know, of Teilhard that, that are still usable today. Right. But yeah, he, he had some, some difficulties for sure.